Hello, Internet. It has been way too long since we've had another update. Um, I think the last time you guys saw this place, it probably didn't look like this, and I, it's kind of still a work in progress, and I realize now that you can't see what's above me and stuff, uh, but that doesn't really matter. It's been way too long since we've had um, a big update, and I have a lot to talk about in a short amount of time, and I've thought really hard about how I wanted to do this video. In fact, I've recorded it uh, geez, I don't even know, seven or eight-ish times. And I think at some point it's kind of indicative of one of the problems that I've been having lately, and I wanted to sit down and talk about it. So we're going to cover some uh, PicoNav updates, we're going to cover some business and life updates, and then finally kind of what's next for this channel. Uh, so I just kind of want to jump into it. I've tried doing video edits, I've tried making this a bit more scripted, and for a multitude of different reasons, it didn't really come out right. So let me, actually, I should grab my Pico Nav. I think I did this last time too. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the Pico Nav with my <laughs> dead battery here. Um, if you haven't really been following me on Discord, I don't really blame you because there haven't really been that many updates, and I want to talk about why. So a lot of people have had some concerns and criticisms that I have not been as active as I should be, or I have been over deliver, or over promising and under delivering on certain things, or I have been you know saying something and then not committing to it. And I want to start this whole conversation off by saying that those people are totally right and justified. I am not trying to push any kind of blame away from anybody but myself, I have messed up. And I'll say it again, like I fucked up. And I want to take a moment to talk about what has been going on behind the scenes. And I, the reason I had stepped back and did not give you guys a direct answer is quite frankly, because I wanted to make sure that the answer that I gave was true and came from a decent headspace. Um, uh, that sounded way more bleak than it is, but um, I, I'm fine for what it's worth. Uh, but lately, I have not had the same amount of time that I had originally intended to. And that's kind of transpired all throughout uh, the last few months. So I need to be careful about how I say this because a, it is job related and there are some things that I am not allowed to disclose and also some things that I don't really want to say in a too negative of a tone because I'm pretty sure some people from my employer watch me from time to time. And also, uh, I didn't want to sound like a bitch, <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest. So basically what had been happening was that my job has kind of engrossed my entire life and all of my free time that I've had. Um, so I work in I work in tech and between some recent layoffs, some firing of people, some job transitions, I have not had nearly as much time as I thought I would. Um, I think this is maybe the first day in two weeks where I haven't worked a 12 hour day. Um, and it's been it's been difficult. I mean even today it's still been like a 10 hour day. But it's been very difficult for me to make this transition where I came from a place of being an independent contributor to somebody who is now responsible for multiple different teams and trying to keep up expectations. And again, without trying to get too deep into my job, it's been taxing. I don't think I've ever had a moment in any job. Well, that's not true. I've had actually uh, not in a very long time. Uh, especially with my current job where I've felt like I cannot breathe or do anything and I am like eat, eating, sleeping, and breathing work. Just work. And before, I had used the Pico Nav kind of as an escape. Like this was my thing to do when I would get off of work and I would enjoy what I do. Um, and I would come back and I would get to talk to a bunch of like-minded people who are excited about something that I had developed. And that is not really the case as much as I would like it to be. And when I had made these plans and when I had uh, like made my notion board and when I had set some expectations in my mind, I had still thought that I am you know this 
regular employee who works eight hours a day, who gets home at a reasonable time, who you know gets to like go out with friends and and you know make dinners and hang out with his wife and hang out like you know do whatever, spend time with you guys. And the reality of that is just not true. Um, I I'm trying to not get too deep into my job again, but like my calendar is blocked from before I even walk in the building to far after I leave. And I'm answering 250 to 500 plus emails a day with a bunch of people who need me. I've been traveling around the United States and even parts of the world now, uh, for work. And I've missed out a lot of really important events. Like I didn't get a chance to go and hang out with my wife on my own anniversary. Um, I missed a buddy's birthday because I was out of town and just working. And I had to take a step back because I think this is the first time where I have not thought about anything but work. It is like I I used to be able to say that when I left my job uh, like for the day and I would walk out that door that my brain would magically wipe and I would switch into a different mode. I would switch into, you know, business mode or fun mode or whatever. And that that's not happening anymore and I'm still planning like I am in that different headspace um and it's been hard um I wanted to make sure that when I recorded this video I wasn't going to just be all like you know I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna try to just be like ranting about my job or all this other stuff and and I want there to be more than just what is here and I, I do need to talk about the Pico app for a second because there have been updates and there have been things that I have been working on uh, and things that I need to show you guys, but I have this vision in my head on what this is supposed to be. And that vision is just not the reality. Uh, in terms of how I deliver this product, I think the actual like software package and the things I'm building are pretty much the same. But I, when I made this realization, and when I stepped back, um, and I'm kind of happy you, you guys called me out because it really was a wake up call to, to me, like on a personal level. Um, it made me sit and ask myself, like, how do I fix this? Like, how do I get back to the old me without like going crazy or quitting my job because I kind of still need to get paid? Um, and the first thing that I had to do was to get organized, like truly, truly organized. And... I had made some changes recently to my notion board because I was thinking again in a different headspace but in a programmer's headspace and what I really needed was a second brain um, and not to get into the whole world of like personal organization and all of the different things like Eisenhower uh, matrix and the para method and all that other shit if you know you know and I'm so fucking sorry but I had found that even in my day job where I'm reasonably organized, there's just too many things for me to handle. Uh, there are too many projects, too many tasks, too many people to manage, too many like subtasks, too many random favors and shit, too many things to research, too many things to reply back to. And then going back to this, it's also, again, having to answer to customers, having to sit down and actually program things to provide actual production updates and all these things that at some point it just became really overwhelming. So what I had done is I found this new template that I am currently in love with. I've been using it for almost a month now. And this template has helped me organize my entire life and to take it into more manageable chunks. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not perfect at it yet. I still kind of struggle with trying to not bite off more than I can chew. But one of the big things is that it's shown me how much in reality I can actually do in a day. And it's not nearly as much as I had thought. Because again, I've historically been operating under the, the notion that I'm a guy who fires at, you know, 120%, you know, 24 hours a day or really 21 hours a day. I would work eight hours a day. I would work on my business for another eight hours a day. I would, you know, drive for two hours a day, work out, make dinner and sleep for like three hours. And that can take a toll on you. Um, and not to get into like, you know, like yeah, a physical, basically physically, mentally, emotionally, I've just let myself go. And I had to reel it back in. And one of the things about this template that I love so much is that it's made me 
understand where my actual limits are. I have found out how many things I could realistically do in a day. And sometimes I'll be honest, I still push it. Like I still try to do more than I can. And then I realize, oh, wait a minute, I can't actually do that. Um, and I, I have to put up this like template and I, this video is not going to be super edited, so I'm sorry, but uh, this template of this one random guy who made it, I honestly, this dude is like saving my life right now. But at my day job, I had found that if I can split things up into specific, more manageable tasks and have things automatically organized by uh, what is urgent and what is not urgent and all of that to give myself actual due dates to make the whole task frictionless so I can uh, make changes and edits on the fly and get to my info really quickly because I think the longer I sit around, the less productive I become. And uh, that also held true with the Pico Nav, and that's kind of why I'm talking about all this stuff. Because with the Pico Nav, um, I had historically did this thing where I'm going to use the tutorial screen, for instance. Um, I would say something along the lines of, I'm going to build the entire tutorial uh, menu in one night. And that would consist of things like all the welcome messages, uh, the button inputs and detection rules, the character select screen uh, where you would choose all the different picos and like, you know, attack, defense and speed, uh, the different tool tips, uh, a nickname screen, and all this other stuff. And I would try to like sandwich all of this in an eight hour night, right? And then wake up and try to do it again uh, and go to my day job the next day. And that just wasn't feasible. So when I had broke things up into small tasks, uh, small manageable tasks into one larger project. Uh, whereas a singular project before was just like, hey, the beta test is one project. Now I have taken my projects into smaller chunks, uh, what I would traditionally call a task. And then within that, I've turned that into a project. And then I have little small bite-sized tasks. I know I probably explained that really shitty. Uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a very, very long day. Um, it is 8, 8 p.m. right now, and I <laughs> just stopped working about an hour ago. Oh God, I need to stop talking about work. Um, but with this change, I have gotten a lot more done. I had finished the inventory system. Um, I finished the KO triggers and all like the death related stuff on the Pico Nav. I finished most of the tutorial system. I still need to finish one part with like the nicknaming thing. Um, I managed to finish all of the uh, issues that I had with like the shells. Actually, I wonder if I can get this. Um, so back over here, there were, that's not this one. Here we go. Um, but there were some issues that I had way back when about not being able to make a shell that was Matt. Where's my camera? Um, I don't know if this is going to show up very well on camera, but like, hang on, hold on. Uh, here I wanted to make a shell that was engraved and Matt. No, maybe no focus. All right, you guys are gonna have to trust me because this is not focusing, but this is a uh, a fully matted shell that also has engraving text on there for the beta testers. And I got all of this working uh, and I made so much progress, but I've been trying to do this in a way where I am treating this like a bigger project, like I have significantly more time than I do. And the reality is, is that I just need to give you guys smaller cadence updates that just says like once a month, I can go and say, hey, these are the small changes that I made and put it in a little post. But I'm trying to make everything too formal. I'm trying to be a perfectionist and I'm trying to, again, bite off more than I can chew. And I think it's uh, creating some really bad habits, if I'm going to be honest. So. I can't promise you guys that I'm going to fix things overnight. I really can't. Um, this has been a thing that I think has been affecting me for the last couple of months now. And my day job is not getting any easier. I'm trying to make it easier. And we're trying to make changes such that I don't work 10 to 12 hour days every single day and hate my life. Um, and we have to start somewhere. So this is my starting point. Because this template has made me realize that moving the needle and making little progress is better than trying to shoehorn everything in together and make ginormous progress. And with that, I, I need to uh, start off, well, I need to continue this conversation by saying that I'm going to be making some changes. I, I'm going to revamp my PicoNav release cadence, uh, and I'm going to change how the beta test is going to look. If for any reason you were a part of that test and you no longer want to be, you are more than welcome to have a refund. I don't want to make this sound like this is some scam thing. I don't want to uh, have you guys, you know, have your money in limbo or wait on a product that you don't have any confidence in or whatever. This is still a passion project for me, but the difference now is that I 
I have a better structure in place such that I can continue working on the things that I want to work on, but I do need to take it slower a little bit. I think I was going a little too hard for a little too long and I've felt the repercussions because I still really love what I do. I really enjoy working on it, but it's just, I can't work myself to the you know brink of exhaustion anymore. It's just, it's taking too big of a toll on me now. Um, so <laughs> with this baby steps, um, in progress, I, I'm going to be, well, I'm going to be a little bit lighter with how I, uh, make my promises. Uh, the road, an updated roadmap needs to happen. Haven't done it yet. A, um, a monthly cadence needs to begin and this will be my first actual cadence. Uh, but I'll do my best to make sure that there are proper blog posts updated. I set reminders a week in advance before this has happened and I'm going to try my best to be better. I again i really can't promise it it's i'm not perfect i'm not attempting to be perfect well maybe uh, i'm not claiming to be perfect that's what i wanted to say and i'm hoping as my job settles in and gets a bit more stable i will be able to commit myself to more things um and yeah we're gonna you know go from there and see what happens but i think in other news the other part too that i i need to do for my own sanity is I need to spend a little bit more time uh, for myself because I haven't really done it. And, well, there's a couple of housekeeping things that still need to happen. Unfortunately, um, I'm still a business. I still attempt to make money wherever I can. So I've been, uh, I've had a couple of vital pet sales just off on the side, really small gigs. So nothing that's been eating up too much of my time, stuff I can do passively, but uh, if you're, you know, still interested in vital pets, I'm planning on selling them throughout the remainder of this year, and then I think at the end of this year I'll be done with them for good. Um, so, I have a little bit of stock left. I'm kind of just, ca again, I'm casually going through them. So if I'm ever out of stock, feel free to check once in a blue moon. You may see some there in the shop. Um, I have another product that I'm really excited to work on. That does not, it is completely isolated from everything that I'm doing. So, again, it is very low effort comparatively to something like the pico nav uh and definitely like the vital pet um that is more so for just like some fun hobbyist passive income because again i'm a business and i need to make money but it's scheduled out it's not some you'll see it somewhere way off in the distance uh the pico nav is still my top priority by far um like comparatively with my free time my distribution of time is like 65% Pico Nav. Why did I say 65? I'm just going to say 60 to keep the number easy. 60% Pico Nav, 20% like personal life in that bucket contains working out, spending time with my wife, and then this side project. And then 10% Vital Pets, and then 10% uh, video creation because I need to be more active. I, I need to be streaming a bit more and to show you guys some stuff. I need to be. Um, putting activity on this YouTube channel. I really appreciate the people who reached out to me uh, on Discord, via email even. Um, it, it's been really sweet and I appreciate it. It's just been rough. It's been very rough. Um, but there's a lot of videos that I've been like dying and I mean dying to make. I think I've just found out that like video editing is just not for me. So I give up on video editing. Fuck it. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it and I think I have more fun just talking off the cuff and doing things. Um, Excuse me. There is one video that you'll see probably uh, in a bit because I have made a video a couple months ago about altered TCG, and I've got four boxes sitting over there. Well, three because one's in my hand, and I'll be doing um, just like a little box opening video talking about my experiences with it. So expect to see that in the upcoming days. But there are a couple of other videos that I've been dying to make, and I have a bunch of the B-roll footage, even though I just said I hate video editing, this one's kind of necessary. I have a bunch of B-roll footage that I'm really, really eager to put up, and I just haven't had the opportunity to do so yet, so that's going to be that. Um, I will do my best to try to have the Notion page updated, the roadmap updated, and then if I can find a better way to not integrate too many of my personal life things. I would love to show you guys what my Notion dashboard looks like so you guys can see progress in real time, but I think it's probably just better for monthly cadence so you guys know what's going on. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns about anything, please let me know. I I wanted to wait to make this video um, to 
well, I wanted to wait until I was in a good headspace to make this video. I didn't want to sit here and be too much of a whiny bitch or too much of a Debbie Downer. Um, I wanted to acknowledge that, you know, there is a problem and I'm doing my best to work on it. Um, but, you know, I, I, I take this very seriously because I had promised you guys something and I had failed and I think that does a lot to harm somebody's credibility. So, still working on things. I owe you guys some stuff. It's a little bit of homework on my side. Um, I just ask that you be a little patient with me. So, that's all. I will see you guys some other time. Um, that's it. Peace out.